All right, what's going on? Matt Morris here, leadwithmatt.com, testing out a new software here, belive.tv. We'll see how it works as you guys hop on. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Hopefully we are live. I'm not seeing viewers yet, so the software may be a little delayed. Wanted to talk about overcoming fear. Biggest emotion in network marketing. I just heard Eric Worre say the other day, biggest emotion in network marketing is fear. So I uh, found that to be certainly the case. And I'm gonna check my page over here and see if it is showing up. Let's see what's happening. Always love testing out something new. All right, well, we're showing uh, viewers on Facebook, 26 people when I go over to uh, be live. Now it shows 26, so we are live. Let me know where you guys are tuning in from in the comments below. If you're watching me live, let me know in the comments. Put live if you're watching me on the replay. Drop me if you one in the comments if you've not seen me do a live before so I can welcome you and let me see here I'm gonna click on this and see what happens look at that live from Canada all right perfect love it love it I can showcase some comments so I will showcase some awesome comments here so we got Austin Texas in the house we got Kansas City in the house Milwaukee in the house UK in the house Rock and roll. We well, appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's talk about fear. Um, and I've got, you know, I mean, the secret to overcoming fear. You may guess what I'm about to tell you. Um, I'm really going to tell you two things. And the first thing is probably what you would initially think. And then I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. So, you know, the secret to overcoming fear, if you read any book on fear, I mean, my favorite book about fear is uh, Susan Jeffers, I believe, Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. She talks about the five truths of fear. One of those is just that everyone has fear. Okay, so you're not alone. Uh, one of those is realizing that if you don't get over the fear and you don't do the thing that you're fearful for, you live in helplessness the rest of your life. So hopefully your fear of living in hopelessness is bigger than your fear of whatever it is you're afraid to do. And so here's the thing. We know we can't just flip a switch and eliminate fear. And I had a lot of fear for a long time. I mean, people want to be an influencer online and they're afraid of doing live videos. Uh, they might do one and it was a scary experience and they never do any others. And so how do you break through that fear? Well, the secret to overcoming fear is doing the thing that you're afraid of. So today, uh, I'll admit when I first started doing live videos, it was a little bit nerve wracking. You know, it was, there was a little fear going on. When I first started recording videos that I put up on YouTube many, many years ago, it was fearful. It was nerve wracking. My videos sucked. But... I overcame the fear by doing the thing that I was afraid of. Okay, so that's the intuitive thing. You know, it's a thing that everyone talks about is the key to overcoming fear is to do what you're afraid of. And eventually the death of that fear is inevitable. So that's true. And we know that I think intuitively, you probably heard that a million times. And so I just want to dig a little deeper today. Norman in the house. Good to see you, Brentley. Um, so let's talk about fear. There, if, if you can't flip a switch and eliminate the fear, I mean, I've tried praying on it, meditating on it. And the bottom line is you gotta just do it, right? Do it and you're gonna overcome it. And sometimes just doing it, you know, someone can tell you do it, do it, do it all day long and you still have so much fear you don't do it. And so what do you do um, to get yourself to do the thing that you're afraid of, because you know, I think you probably know in your heart, if you just kept doing it over and over and over, even if you're afraid you'd get over it, right? I mean, hopefully you know that's the case. Same with public speaking. I was deathly afraid of speaking in public. Crazy afraid. My mentor told me I'm gonna speak tonight. I'm like, no way, uh, I'm not. And he said, yes, you are. 
Um, so I eventually did it. I was pressured into doing it. I sucked. I was terrible. I mean, I remember the first presentation I did, six people. Uh, luckily, only six people showed up. There were supposed to be 100. And three out of the six walked out. I was so bad. And you know, you've heard the saying in network marketing, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. You can't say the right thing to the wrong person. That's not true at all. <laughs> not at all. Because one of the guys that walked out, someone else showed him the business a few months later and he joined and he became a top earner in our company. And he had seen part of my presentation and because I was so awful, he left, right? So I said the wrong thing to the right person. You can do that, right? So here's what I really want to get to. This is kind of the meat of the, uh, of the live here is my suggestion is this. Your fear is going to control you if you don't have a commitment that's bigger than the fear, okay? So when I was afraid of speaking in public, yes, I was really afraid of that. But my commitment to being a success in life, my commitment to being a hero to my unborn children, that was greater than my fear of speaking in public. So I had to choose one of the fears. I, I chose, consciously chose that my fear of not being a hero to my children, my fear of not having financial freedom, my fear of not rising to my potential was way bigger than my fear of getting on stage. And I had to wrestle with myself and I had to have many conversations with myself about that. And so if you are struggling with fear today, and you don't seem to be able to break through it, you need to take a serious look at your commitment. Take a serious look at your commitment. And chances are that commitment is not strong enough. And you wanna develop reasons why your commitment is going to be stronger than the fear. So why must you overcome the fear? is my suggestion to you. Why must you overcome the fear? And when you figure out why you must overcome the fear, guess what happens? You figure out how to overcome the fear. You end up getting over it because your commitment is bigger than the fear. So, you know, I, I look at my life and I look at who I wanna be. I, who does Matt Morris wanna be? Well, number one, I wanna be a hero to my children, okay? I want to be a hero to my children. That's important to me. And I, that's something I'm amazingly committed to. And because I'm committed to being a hero to my children, the fear of not living up to that commitment is bigger than my fear of doing a live video. That makes sense. Hopefully that makes a lot of sense to you. So don't just create one. Like that's one part of my purpose. If you've ever heard, heard me talk about my purpose, part of my purpose is being a hero to my children. Part of my purpose is helping other people live up to their highest potential. My fear of not helping other people live up to their highest potential is greater than my fear of stepping out of my comfort zone, okay? So what happens is you wanna stack these commitments. Stack the commitments, commitment after commitment after commitment, okay? Um, my fear of not living up to my own highest potential is greater than my fear of stepping out of my comfort zone. It's why I'm able to step out of my comfort zone and why I've been able to do it consistently for years is because I have commitments that are greater than the level of fear of breaking out of my comfort zone, okay? So, that's my suggestion to you is stack those commitments, figure out what you really want your life to look like, get committed to those things and start programming yourself that you're way more committed than you are fearful. And your fear of not living up to those commitments is bigger than the fear of stepping out of your comfort zone in whatever way makes sense uh, or whatever way that you need to. So listen, I hope this makes sense. It's an extremely valuable process that I've gone through and it, you can almost relate it to, you call them I am statements. You know, who are you? Who are you committed to being? 
and I've got a list of things, you know, super daddy, one of the most confident men in the world. Uh, I'm committed to touch, to touch, move and inspire people. I'm committed to make a difference. I'm committed to leaving a legacy. I'm committed to leaving an impact that survives me so that I have a legacy that lives on. And the more I step out of my comfort zone, the more likely I am to actually make that a reality. So hopefully all this is sinking in. And the reality is, I mean, it, once you've overcome the fears, public speaking is an example, it consumed me. I was so incredibly afraid to get on stage. It was like butterflies in my stomach. I wanted to vomit. I always wanted to back out. I was always like right before it was time to get on stage, I was like, man, I wish I wouldn't have done this because I hate this feeling, but my commitments are higher. So I continue doing it. And here's what happens over time is today getting on stage. I can't believe I was so afraid because today the fear is gone. I've done it so many hundreds of times. The fear is gone. Now I, there may be some people who've done it a hundred or 200 times and they still have crazy amounts of fear. Um, but what you find is uh, in general, most people, um, are able to get over that. Now I still stress myself out. Um, in fact, I almost consider that to be healthy. So before I get on stage, I'm always kind of, um, stressing because I want to deliver in a big way because my mission, my purpose is to impact lives. And so I want to make sure that I say the right things and I come from the right place and I have the right energy uh, and all that. Right. So, um, you know, there's still a little stress there, but the fear, the crippling fear goes away. Same thing with cold calling people, meeting strangers, whatever it may be. Um, eventually you'll get to the point where you'll look back and you'll say, wow, I can't believe I was so afraid. And here's the joy. The joy in all this, and this is really what I want you to feel, the joy is turning into the person who was able to overcome a crippling fear. And if you wanna know some secrets to being very, very confident, that comes from you becoming the kind of person who has overcome obstacles. And the more obstacles you overcome, the more confidence that you end up developing. And so overcome the fear because of the feeling that you get to have, being able to look in the mirror and be proud of yourself versus looking in the mirror and staring back at unrealized potential. Okay. That was really the way I lived for a long time was I'd stare in the mirror and what was looking back with at me was unrealized potential. Today I look in the mirror and I have certainly a lot more potential. I have a lot of room for growth in a lot of different ways, but um, Krista, thank you for the share. Um, but I'm proud. I'm proud that I was able to step out of my comfort zone in so many ways to overcome those fears. So listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you feel like this can add some value to some others, you can hit the share button. Let me know in the comments if you shared it so I can give you a shout out. And uh, if you're looking for some advanced training on network marketing specifically, hop over to leadwithmat.com. I've got some leadership strategies there, not only on becoming a powerful leader, but also on being able to attract powerful leaders into your organization. As we know, network marketing is a game of leadership. Uh, leaders with leadership, we grow by multiplication versus addition. Addition is slow and painful. Multiplication is fast and fun. So appreciate you guys so much. We'll be back again soon. Mo, thank you for the share. Love you guys. Tina, thank you for the share. Rock and roll. Go make it an awesome day. Edwina, thank you for the share. Rock and roll. Take care, everyone.